Right, hello from my name is Joe from channel and in this video I'll be showing you my Lego waterfall mark. Alright, so this mark of course has a black face, as does literally all my other marks. It's like a staple years. Uh, for the grass at the front, it is pretty simple with just plates, but then like before like bringing it to like a convention to display, I did add a bunch of these leaves, which I just think improves it. Uh, not by too too much. Like, I know I definitely could have done the grass a bit better, but I'm generally like, you know, it does the job. It's meant to be a bit more sort of simple and not like, you know, as like detailed as my other marks. But the water technique is just simply a bunch of transparent blue tiles. I think this just, just gives off a really nice effect. Effect. I also got like just plain transparent plates like mixed between just to give it a bit more of like a watery sort of feel. Alright so now the main part of the mock I'd say is definitely the rock work. This was by far the most complicated thing out of the whole thing. So on the side I quite simply used like a snot technique just to get like that bit done and then for like the sort of middle part of all the rock work it's quite simply just ball joints on the inside. So the back of the mock is just like big ugly rock pieces as I didn't want to like, you know use too many just like bricks as I wanted to use that in, like, other mocks. So I just use a bunch of big ugly rock pieces since they were on the pick a brick wall and they were pretty cheap. So where you see all this grass on the top, on the inside of there, there's a bunch of like colourful pieces with ball joints just to give like all this sort of like rocky sort of detail and just generally like make all the rock work. And I am so so happy with how this turned out. I just think it's really smooth, like just all the angles and just it, it looks insane in my opinion. So on the top for the grass, I decided to experiment with just adding a bunch of just like uh, the sort of grass stem pieces, but just placing them loosely to give off a really nice sort of grassy texture. I think this works really well, however I feel like the transition from the rock work to the grass is a bit meh. Like I'm not 100% certain on the sort of transition, but I feel like now it just gets the job done. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve that, please do though, leave it in the comments. So behind the little sort of like area of grass, there's uh, this technique for some bushes. I just think this just finishes off the mock quite nicely. I'll shout out to my good friend BR Bricks for showing me this technique. I am absolutely obsessed with it as you can probably tell from the random hut project. For the waterfall, I wanted to just make this like very unique and have it like a very weird angle. I think this just gives like a really nice little vibe to the build. As like it doesn't stick to the standard like boxy Lego formula and it's just at an angle and I'm really happy with how it turned out. For the top, I did use cheese wedges as well. I think it just, you know, makes it like, you know, flow a bit nicer. And then behind it, like it got really complicated with the angle, but I feel like it executed it like the best I sort of could, I guess. Also, as you can probably tell from like the rock work, like it was extremely complicated to get like all these angles and then this final bit of rock work it is pretty simple although i did add a little frog uh, piece just to, like cover a little cat which i thought was quite fun also one thing i did forget to so know is for the sort of bubbles at the bottom of the waterfall i did use like ice cream slash popcorn pieces and yeah that technique i'm quite happy with how it turned out so yeah that's my like a waterfall mark please let me know your thoughts in the comments and like what i could do to like improve it i'm not like 100 percent like certain with like you know how it looks i feel like it just gets the point across and i'm really happy with it now before actually building this, um, something I like to do with all my mocks is plan them out first and lucky enough I have a mock planner notebook available now from jewelsbricks.shop. I use this to plan out all my mocks. If you want to get one today you can use code waterfall at checkout for 20% off for the next 7 days. After the 7 days is up you'll just get 10% off your orders. So yeah be quick if you want to get 20% off the mock planner notebooks. This stuff is really good quality and I put like so much like thought into these and I'm really excited with, like how these end out. Oh so yeah thanks so much everyone for watching and like you know supporting the channel recently has been absolutely insane like subscribe to all that stuff and goodbye